So I said to her one day, I said, look, if you want to talk to me about it, wait till I'm straight. Don't do it when I'm stoned. Come on. Don't spoil my buzz. And I said, look, you keep it up and you're going to be gone. You know, I was smoking pot long before I met you. I was smoking pot when I met you. I've smoked pot since, I, since we hooked up. And you keep this shit up, I'll be smoking pot long after you're gone. She's gone. I just kept on smoking pot. After a binge, you know, you know always at the end something bad's going to happen or it's going to end up in tears. I had a very abusive boyfriend mentally and physically. He, um, I got stabbed. Um, I've been locked in a room without food and water for a few days. I've tried to leave. He's beaten me down and chased after me. He had a dog pit bull attack me. Oh, I've had, I've had some horrible, horrible times. Any time, day or night, they'd turn up, rock on up at three o'clock in the morning. It didn't matter, you know, there was always people in my lounge, girls, you know, little ho-hos that I'd call them, pee-hos, they'd come round and flaunt themselves and, you know, think they thought it was a really cool lifestyle. Oh, I'd love to be with a drug dealer and I'm just like, well, it's not that fun, but yeah, anyway. My partner who was with me at the time when she was arrested, <coughs> She'll never ever recover from what she's been through, what she's seen. I had relationships where um, people wanted to get close to me and that would bring that up again and they'd really want to find out a bit more about me and I'd just be filled with this fear and I thought I've got to get, I've got to get away, I can't allow myself to open up, I can't allow myself to trust anybody and so I would just be avoiding and avoiding and avoiding and only putting myself in situations where there were only going to be shallow connections. The stuff that I was into and the people, the types of people that could come round, um, my partner was just like, you know, you have to have something, you know, you need to use something. And I was like, give me a switchblade then. And he's like, you won't use a weapon, but you use a, a switchblade. And I'm like, yeah. And um, we had this massive argument and I ended up flicking the switchblade and slipped my wrist. And um, yeah, there was heaps of blood and was pissing at my arm and the, co the next door neighbours rang the cops so the cops fucking turned up and then the ambulance came and they sent me off to the to Wellington Hospital to get seen by the site team. And I just got to a moment of clarity where I realised, I don't know, I felt more lucid than I had been in months and I suddenly looked at the people around me and I was like, wow, these people don't have any good intentions for me. These people are actually hurting me, um, specifically the boyfriend that I was with. Just seeing what it's like now, different, like how my, our relationship is and the way that we speak to each other and stuff, it's like, fuck, this is what I wanted. I finally got there, you know, and I'm still young and I can still have a life. I'm just I'm glad that it's here. I'm happier now than I ever have been. I may have no friends and no money, but I don't give a shit. Mm.